Hello, everyone. Now we travel to US again, and we are in Seattle, and we are going to have a chat with uh, lovely Rainy from Serenity. So um, before me going through our chat and our discussion, I would like to ask uh, lovely Rainy to have uh, an introduction for us. Hi there, hi everyone. Um, hi Perry. <laughs> so Good to see my you. name is Rainy. Good to see you too. Yeah. Um, so my name is Rainy. Um, I'm the owner of Serene Tea here in Seattle. And a little bit of my about myself. Um, I'm well. First of all, I'm Chinese by ethnicity, and so being in the tea industry um, is. Um, it's it's very um, how do I put put it this way? It's like a it's like honor or say it's like a um, one way. It's like a manifestation. It's like a way for me to spread my culture um, as well. So it's not just about the tea. Um, so yeah, um, I moved to Seattle in two thousand and nine. I have been here for about ten years, but during but in the middle of like this ten years, like two and a half years, I moved to Europe and lived in Italy, and then twenty eighteen, I moved back here and I started the business in twenty nineteen. Yeah, um, so so far everything's great. I've been having lots of fun and I love connecting with people through tea, um, just like how I connected with. You know, with you, with Fairy here. Um, so yeah. So hopefully, in the next, you know, a few years, I'll continue my journey and hoping to meet more people and bring more um, flavorful, you know, good teas to people. Yeah. So that's, that's it great. All. For me, the same. I mean, uh, I started my uh, Instagram account more more than a year ago, and I now within one year or so, I have found lots of lovely friends all over the world, which is great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So tea connects the people, which is um, a great way of knowing the people. And um, as we chat before this, this is our this is just a short life. So it's good to know more people uh, to have good friends and then enjoy that company of having good friends. Um, so you touch on the business a little bit um, during your introduction somehow. Uh, yeah. Is it possible for you, um, Rainy, to go through the, the business, talk about the serenity, how you started, and what is the situation now? Yeah, of course. That's, uh, you know, thank you for letting me having the opportunity to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I mentioned, you know, just like what I mentioned earlier, I have also lived in Italy for two years and a half. Um, so the idea, Ironically, the idea of having a tea business didn't come to me until I lived in Italy. Um, to go in maybe a bit more details about that, basically what happened was, I so no offense to all the coffee lovers, you know, in the world, but I'm not a coffee person. <laughs> I love <laughs> fragrance, you know, <laughs> I love the coffee fragrance and I love, you know, visiting um, coffee shops. They always have such nice ambience, but I just, I think my stomach doesn't handle coffee very well. And ironically, you know, Italy is famous for coffee, it's a coffee country. Um, so when I was there, you know, every time I go to a bar, um, they, they refer, you know, coffee shops as bar. They don't call them coffee shops. Um, so every time I go to a bar, I will always ask for a glass of water with lemon and that just confused, you know, that was just really confusing to people. And so during that time, I thought what would be a good way for me to, you know, like have like a beverage that I enjoy um, that also has great health benefits. You know, there's a lot of health benefits to it that, you know, not just me, but other people will also enjoy. And um, and the third thing that I had in my mind was what would be a good thing for me as, you know, like Chinese to bring to people that can also, um, you know, like to a certain degree, to a certain degree represent, you know, my culture. And, um, and so that's when tea came to my mind. 
Um, and then, yeah, so after that, uh, 2018, you know, I talked about it for three years. And my friends and families were getting kind of impatient. They're just like, when are you actually going to have it? When are you actually <laughs> when you are going to start? <laughs> right, when? <laughs> and so 2018, you know, I uh, moved back here to Seattle. And so I thought, the, you know, I spent a year, basically I spent a year preparing, you know, this idea or like the business plan and stuff. Um, I also went back to China in 2018 for six months, you know, to receive my TSO media training. Wow, great. Um, yeah, so that was really fun, you know, like, so it was TSO media training along with, you know, visiting different tea farms, um, trying to hang down, you know, the, the, tea far the tea farmers that I trust, that I, I believe would be, would have good teas for me to, to source. Yes, definitely. Um, yeah, and then and in 2019, you know, I launched the business. Uh, one of my biggest uh, struggles, you know, during 2018 was uh, was a question that was the question of whether I should have a tea shop or do online business first. And well, for some reasons, I decided to, you know, like do online first. However, my goal in the future is definitely to have a shop somewhere, whether it's Seattle or maybe back in Italy or maybe both. <laughs> we don't know. Or maybe back in China. We don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Come to my goal. <laughs> come to yeah. We oh, come to the tea, tea shop and buy tea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, so 20... Um, However, because when I received my TSO media training it was in China, my business right now largely focuses on Chinese teas. Because one of my personal principles is, one of my personal principles is, um, if I don't know the farmer, if I cannot go to see the, fa the farm, uh, meet the farmer and sit down and drink tea with the farmer, I don't want to source teas from them. So I don't, right, so that's my personal principle. That's why I don't deal with brokers. I don't deal with brokers. I don't deal with middle people. I only do direct sourcing. Um, and that being said, hopefully, you know, in the future, I mean, 2020, we're having this pandemic, you know, unexpectedly. Um, my plan was to expand my, you know, my personal training and uh, both for myself and for business to Japan and Korea this year. That didn't happen. <laughs> Don't worry, you will but, do it. Right, but hopefully, you know, 2021, I'll get the opportunity to do that. And so I can bring, you know, different teas from around the world, you know, hopefully also in the future, India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, you know, like everywhere from the world to, you know, to my business and to the people. Yeah, to tea. Within one year or so that you started the business, uh, Rainy, you did a great job. So, and now that we have this coronavirus situation, uh, better days will come. So I 100% sure that you will have a better situation in 2021. So yeah. I look forward to see that um, growth and then um, um, I, I wish you all the best. So based on what you have done, uh, Rainy, during this time, planning for the tea, or starting the business, is anything happened to you as some sort of funny story that you want to share with us? <laughs> um, that's a great question. That really is. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I, I can think of, so on the top of my head right now, um, I can think of a few stories, but then I would just share like, you know, like a one or two. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, excuse me, I'm just going to touch my computer real quick. Uh, so the first story is um, the first story happens in Italy. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you know I lived there, and during my second year of living there, uh, so first year, so first year I lived in Bologna, and the second year I lived in Milan. During my second year of living there, I was uh, I was a student attending an art school, and so I thought, well, I should probably get a part-time job. And so I got this job uh, at a local tea shop after, you know, like visiting different tea shops there. And then I decided that I liked that one the most. 
And uh, at the time, my Italian, you know, the language proficiency was pretty good. And that's why I think that's why my boss hired me because she is actually Italian herself. And plus, you know, I'm, I'm Asian and, you know, for ha for a tea shop, it's probably good to have, you know, like an Asian face in the tea exactly. shop. Exactly. That's the source of, that's the source of tea. <laughs> right. It's more convincing to people. <laughs> and so here comes a funny story. When she hires me, she didn't ask me many questions about tea. She didn't ask me any question about my really? understanding, right? And my what understanding. What do you know about tea? <laughs> she didn't ask me anything. She just asked me, you know, like some other questions, right? Um, I got hired. Then one day, I think it was after, I think it was after two months or so. One day, one of her friends came to the shop to visit her. Um, she always has like visitors. And so they were, and at that moment, you know, like there, there wasn't anybody else in the shop. It was just her and her friend. So they sat down at the table and then they started to talk about things and in Italian very fast. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go do my thing. I went to the back of the room to, you know, like get some stuff out. And when I came out, I accidentally, cause I was quiet. So I accidentally caught this one thing that they said to each other, which is my boss friend went, oh, is she Chinese? Like, she's new, like, you just hire her, is she Chinese? And my boss said, yes. And so her, her friend went, oh, that's great, you know, like, it's good to have a Chinese person in the tea shop. <laughs> he said, she doesn't know anything about tea. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god, it was really embarrassing. It was, it was really embarrassing. Wow. <laughs> She had no idea that I caught that, you know, just, just very, very <laughs> Not that much knowledge about tea. <laughs> no, not at all. It was, it was very true. I don't blame her because it was very true. I felt, I felt embarrassed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like oh. when she hired me, that's when she found out. I didn't even know what, um, for example, um, cause she had, she has, uh, she has lots of Chinese teas and Lots of Japanese teas and Koreans and um, so when she hired me, she was surprised to find out that I didn't even know for I didn't even know what white peony, you know, the Bai Mudan, the Chinese white tea was. And so she was like, you didn't know this. You didn't know that. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> so that being said, I I'm very grateful to her. I'm very grateful to my uh, Italian boss because she was actually she was my first mentor in terms of tea. She gave me lots of, you know, like basic, like overview, like tea um, knowledge. Um, and then after that, you know, like after working at her shop, I decided to pursue, you know, this journey myself. And um, I got lots of inspiration from her as well. So in a way, I'm very grateful to her. Yeah, that's great. And also, I love the way that you mentioned that for your business, you mm -hmm. want to know the source of tea. So yeah. your customers should be very proud of you as the tea supplier or tea business or whatever you do to know that, OK, this is how yeah. lovely Rainy treat us. She knows where the tea coming from mm -hmm. and she knows the source. So we get a good tea, which is which is great. Um, yeah. Well, the other point that I wanted to mention, of course, maybe we both have the same sort of idea about the um, industry and culture. Uh, so um, I, I want to see if in your area specifically, if you see anything specifically in your area. And also the other point that I want you to touch on is regarding the people's awareness and knowledge about tea. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it good? Do you think the people know about the tea and health benefits or not? Yeah, um, those are both those those are really excellent questions. I, I'm so glad you asked. Um, first of all, like the tea culture here, I, I cannot speak on behalf of, you know, the rest of the US because America is a really big country. Big, big country. Um, in terms of Seattle, you know, like me being here, 
um, I am still fairly new, right? I'm still fairly new um, being in the in, uh, being in the teeth industry myself. However, from my observation, you know, Seattle-wise, I think the tea. Um, I think people here really love tea. And people here are very because the political, the social political culture in, in Seattle is very liberal, and I think a lot of people here have very open mind. You know, like in terms of uh, you know, like foreign foreign things or foreign concepts. Um, and we actually have a few really good um, tea shops here, like local tea shops here. Right. Right, so there's one in Chinatown, one over there, like kind of like up north Seattle. Um, I see how like different tea shops all have different ways of presenting, you know, their tea business. So for example, we have the one in Chinatown that's more traditional Chinese tea focused. We also have one over like kind of over there that's uh, more like a tea cafe style, you know. So it's tea shop, but then I believe they didn't really serve coffee, but I could be wrong, you know. But it's very largely tea focused. People go there, it's a great hangout spot, very nice ambience. And then we have another one that serves like ta uh, Taiwanese Wulong teas, so focus on Taiwanese Wulong teas. So yeah, I personally, I feel like the tea culture here is pretty good. And we have a small tea community here. Um, lots of people know each other. Um, we also have um, a great tea festival that's been going on for, I believe, the last 10 years. Wow. Okay. It's called the Northwest Pacific, uh, the Northwest Tea Festival. I attended the festival last year myself um, as a vendor and also as a presenter. Um, it was really, really good. Like, there's so many participants, like a lot of enthusiasm, you know, like in the air. Um, so in terms of Seattle, I believe we have a really great potential. Um, I don't believe, I don't think we have let the full potential out just yet. Um, but there is a lot of potential. And that kind of connects to the second question you asked, you know, in terms of people's awareness, because we are, I mean, America is a Western country after all. And uh, so is Italy, so is Australia, yes. so is Canada. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, right. Uh, so me as an, as an Asian person who has been living in the West for, you know, a, a little over, you know, a little over a decade now, um, I do feel like the main, the mainstream beverage is still coffee yeah. like there, and there's nothing wrong with that rightfully rightfully and you. You go to, yeah. right yeah but that's because we live in the west if you go to china nobody drinks coffee you know yeah. yes yeah for the same reason um but i love how you know there are so many people out there trying to bring um a tea awareness like tea education to the general public and I believe that education is the key to people's awareness. Um, for example, I still have, I still meet a lot of people that don't really understand the difference between uh, tea bag, uh, blended tea, and loose leaf tea. Loose leaf tea, exactly. And I think if you don't, if you, like the reason that people are not aware of this, people don't understand it, this is because they don't have the education. They don't like most people over here. They didn't grow up, you know, they didn't grow up with tea. So they probably do not understand the health benefits behind it or how to distinguish uh, good qualities versus bad qualities. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And that's why I think it's really important for people to, you know, like to have gateways to um, to have ways to access those information, and and um, and that's why you know like there are people. Oops, oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> My screen. Okay. Don't like, worry. Yeah. Still, I can see you. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's why you know like I'm grateful for you know for people like you. You know, like you trying to like do the, these interviews with people, and I also on your Instagram I saw that you list this. You know, like health benefits of teas. Like you try to do education, 
and me myself, you know, I do workshops, I do, you know, I do YouTube channel, you know, also for the same purpose, trying to bring information, knowledge to people. Mm-hmm. Like once people receive the knowledge, like, you know, like I, I believe the tea industry will bloom even more, you know, in the US and also any other parts of the world. Um, and tea business owners like me have more reason to bring, have more reason and motivation, you know, to bring really good quality teas to people. So it's win-win, you know, it's really win-win, both for the tea drinkers and for people in the tea industry. Exactly, very valid point. And thanks for sharing, um, Rainy. In my mind, I don't have anything else to go through, uh, but I want to see if you uh, miss anything to say or if you want to add anything. Yeah, um, I think I think we have covered a lot. Good. Um, I guess the only other thing that I would like to give a shout out is that uh, just to let people know, um, Serenity is going to attend the International Virtual Tea Festival this year, and that's right. going to take place in November, sometimes in November, so November 7th and November 8th. And I mean, even for you, you know, if you want to take a look at that and, you know, attend a festival. Yeah, so it's a virtual seminar, am I right? Yes, so it's a virtual, um, yeah, you could, in a way you could say it's a virtual seminar. I have never attended a virtual tea festival. This is also first time for me. Um, I'm very excited about that. I don't know what to expect, but I'm, you know, I am trying my best to prepare for it. Yeah. That's great. If, if you don't mind, um, Rainy, uh, since when I post this in the account, uh, if you don't mind, send me the link or anything that I can put in the caption. I myself or anyone interested to attend that virtual seminar or event, then they know where to go and how to uh, attend that seminar. So um, anyway, thank you so much for your time. Great to see you and thanks for sharing your experience with myself and also the people watching this video later on. So stay safe, take care and hopefully uh, we will be in touch and hopefully catch up soon. Of course. Thank you, Barry. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.